Ames, you're two minutes late. I called all the emergency rooms. I know. I went home from your place to shower, and I'm so tired that I fell asleep while shaving my legs. But we went to bed so early. Property Brothers was over at 10. I mean, sex, we do it. She's tired from all the doing it. Who are you talking to? Precinct. Come on, man. Yeah. No, I was up all night because your dumb, lumpy mattress is so uncomfortable. What? But I gave you the good lump. Oh, please stop talking till I finish eating my coffee. All right. Ooh, a lover's quarrel. No, I'm just tired. I didn't ask for part two. Never fear, Amy, for I have the solution to all of your problems. Highly potent liquid speed. Oh, you're gonna love that stuff. Devin, we're cops. Read the room. But I know you'll be excited because I busted Devin here with four vials of this, which is a new drug called... Taxi! You actually found some? Yep. Your CI was right. It's popping up on the corners. Man, my snitches are the best. The key is to always send them handwritten thank you notes. Oh, so what do you say? Shall we take this partnership from the sheets to the streets? Oh, our first case is a couple. Why not? Hey, guys. I just discovered a new drug, too. It's called your relationship, and I'm high on it. Charles, I'm gonna need you to back off, man. Roger that. Yeah. Your boyfriend, sorry, um, your ex-boyfriend is pathetic. You should be glad that I ordered him to dump you. Swish, Kobe. Got it. Yes, you're amazing! That was We Are The Champions. I am straight up depressed. Amy's been doing her best to cheer me up. She gave me the sticker this morning just for waking up. Ew, it's like you're dating your teacher. I know, it's so hot. <laughs> Peralta, are you eating an Italian sub for breakfast? I am, but Amy said I should eat more veggies, so I got extra pepperoni. Smart. I really wish you'd show up. I gotta go to the bathroom so bad. It's like a third time today, man. What is going on with you? Oh, Amy freaked out because I told her I never drink water, so now she's making me drink eight glasses a day. It's like... There's water and soda. There's water and coffee. There's little pools of water on pizza. That's grease, Jake. Well, it's wet, isn't it? Hey, babe. Oh, I see you've taken the braids out. Your hair looks fun. Now it's ready for me to braid again. OK, Ames, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but you got to calm the F train down. You're going to ace this test. You think that because you love me, and love has made you dumb. I disagree. If anything, love has made me smarter. Remember last week when I boiled that egg? That was big. I was really proud of you. It's called Taxi because it's yellow, and it takes you where you need to be. Drug dealers have gotten so creative. It used to just be crack, and then they'd be like, hey, we got a new one. What are we going to call this? And they'd go, I don't know, crank? This is certainly worth following up on. Santiago, take a boil and work the case. Oh, but Jake, I mean, Detective Peralta brought in the perp, so. Good point. Uh, Peralta and Boyle can work the case. Actually, sir, I think we were kind of hoping we could work the case together. Oh, are you two no longer... Smushing booties. Yes, that's exactly how I was going to finish my sentence. Figured. We are still dating. It's all above board. HR gets daily updates, and our BCC'd on all our emails to each other. That's why HR Jim keeps high-fiving me. Okay, we're all set up in there, Mr. Peralta. Just, uh, sign here. What's all set up? What's going on? Ah, thank you for asking, Terrence. You see... The food in prison was inedible. All I thought about day and night were the things I wished I was eating. And you, Amy. I thought about you a lot. Sex with you, just us doing sex with foreplay. Great save, babe. Thanks. And so I decided to make my food fantasy come true. Unbutton your pants and take off your shoes, because there's going to be a doink load of sodium at Freedom Feast 2017. We begin where all great stories begin, in the quaint little town of French Fry Village. After that, we're going to move our adventure over to Cheeseburger Mountain, which consists, you guessed it, of turkey burgers. I'm kidding, it's cheeseburgers. This is kind of just stuffing. You can avoid that. But it's attached to the Thanksgiving turkey theme, because I was thinking about that a lot up in the jail. And finally, we have a big old Passover brisket, because you know I loves my mom. If you would all take a seat while I make a toast. Kindly raise your two liters to freedom, to you, and most importantly, to orange drink. And sex with Amy. To sex with Amy! Sorry, shouldn't have said that last part. Oh, there you are, thank God. Hey, how'd you find me? January 14th, 2014. Detectives Peralta and Santiago conducted surveillance from a rooftop at 397 Barton Street. This is where we came the night I won our bet and you fell in love with me. Jake. The night that you flirted with me for 20 seconds and I became obsessed with you forever. Ready? I'm sorry I freaked out and ran away. It's okay. Just because you messed up the practice test doesn't mean you're gonna fail the real one. I didn't mess it up. I got 102%. I found a spelling error in one question. I gave myself extra credit. Then why'd you leave? Because that was the first time it really hit me. 
When I pass the exam, I'll actually be a sergeant. What if everything changes between us? That's why you came here? Yeah. Things are so good right now. I don't want to screw that up by getting transferred or becoming your boss. Ames, I've always known you were going to be my boss. I mean, this is your dream from before we were dating. And yeah, things might change a little, but for the better, right? You can finally get premium cable, check out all those shows on Epics. <laughs> Look, you can't be afraid to be successful. You're too good for that. I love you. Love you too. Wait, the test. We gotta get you out of here. Right, I'm gonna be a sergeant. You're gonna be a sergeant. <sighs> you don't have a key for this random roof door, do you? Come on, come on. Oh no, I broke the hotel key. I forgot was in my wallet for the last five years. Where's Rosa? We can't wait for her. The exam's in 20 minutes. It's my fault we're up here. I just won't take the test. I'll wait three years for the next one. Oh no, you won't. No, Jake, you are not die-harding off this roof. I am definitely die-harding off this roof. For you and only for you and also for me because I've always wanted to do it. Jake, come on, get down from there. It's too dangerous. It's perfectly safe. <clears throat> See you in hell, kiddo. What? Game! Bars, bars, bars! Oh, are there bars on the window? Yeah, there are bars on the window. <sighs> hey, honey. Thanks for bringing Roger back. You're very welcome. Hey, by the way, Amy was really nervous to meet you, so don't judge her too harshly for all the weird singing. Oh, no. I'm dating my son of a bitch ex-husband. Who am I to judge? I think she's really great. I think you're really great, too. She's very good at lip reading. I wouldn't say I'm very good. I mean, deaf people, they're the real talents. Just can't stop. I'll let you guys talk. I'll just close my eyes. Jake, oh, I'm so glad you're okay. Wow, you were really worried about me? Mm hmm Also, your face is so warm and I think I have hypothermia. You wanted to see me? Yeah. I know you're too proud to say I told you so, so I'm just gonna... Told you so. Not too proud. Yeah, it seems right. Look, I screwed up and I think you should take over command of the precinct. Been waiting to hear you say that all day? I know. Which is why you shouldn't say it. Huh? You're still trying to make people happy. Don't apologize to me. Be a leader and tell me what you need me to do. Tell everyone what you need them to do. You're the captain, Jake. I'm the captain now. Captain Phillips. Captain Phillips! That's what it was. Look at me, look at me, right? Yeah. I guess now we have to actually talk about what happens if the jury finds me guilty. They still might not. We could still go to Paris. Forget Paris. Billy Crystal, nailed it. I'll wait for you, and I'll keep fighting for you, and so will everyone at the 9-9. We'll do whatever it takes. I love you. I love you. Okay, let's go back to New York. You can choose the music. Just put on anything by Anya. No, not anything. Or no go flow, on repeat. Attention, squad. Mm, pretty dainty way to make an announcement. It's a workplace. I wanted to be respectful. Well, as someone at a high risk for a spook-related death, thank you. As I was saying, it's time for round four of the Halloween hype. If I don't make it until Gina, I love her. What's up, 99? Jake Peralta here to tell you that tonight is the night for the Halloween. Hi, Amy already went over this. What? James, what are you doing? I always announce the heist. Yeah, Amy, what the hell are you doing? Exercising my right to announce the heist as the defending champion. Defending champion? The only reason you won is because no one knew you were even playing. It was a pathetic act of pure cowardice. Oh, she's your girlfriend, Peralta? Not tonight she isn't. Although, don't kiss anyone else. I love you so much. I told you, I'll always be one step ahead of you. You can't surprise me. You're boring. You know what spices up a relationship? Co-owning a multi-tiered marketing. Ignore him. Look, there are three tramps. The only way we're gonna win is if we team up. Good point. I guess my response is, rotten hell, crap face! <gasps> also, I love you and I treasure you, and you bore me. God, you're being so mean. Do it more. I hope you die. <sighs> Bye. Fine. Go. Who needs you, you freaking jag? <laughs>